Some doors should be left closed. Some mysteries we might just need to leave unsolved, you know? But where's the fun in that, you know? So let's see what happened with some of these doors that were discovered. This video here is scientists discover a million year old door and find something shocking inside. Let's go. Not all doors lead to the greatest places. Don't believe me? These doors will make you realize that some places are better left unseen and unexplored. From the Taj Mahal's locked rooms to Russia's own Area 51, here are 20 mystery doors that should never- Russia got an Area 51 as well? I mean, it would make sense. Or be opened. Number 20, the mystery of the Taj Mahal's locked doors. The Taj Mahal, built on the right bank of the river Yamuna in Agra and Uttar Pradesh, India. This white marble mausoleum is a sight to behold. It was initially commissioned in 1631 by the fifth Mughal emperor, Shah Jahan, and it wasn't until 1648 that it was finished. Its beauty is incomparable, and the reason behind its construction is one of love and loss. You see, while the pharaohs of the ancient Egyptians were given pyramids, Shah Jahan dedicated the Taj Mahal to his beloved wife. Overall, this complex measures a staggering 42 acres, which includes a mosque, a guest house, and a massive garden. But beneath its white marble... That was the guest house? Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's, that's, very, that's very generous, if, if I may say so. Full surface lies a labyrinth few have dared to explore. You see, the story goes that there are numerous secret rooms within the Taj Mahal that have been sealed off from the public. Some say these rooms contain treasures, ancient manuscripts, or relics left behind by the royals who lived in India. What's more, there's also a chamber hidden in the Taj Mahal that holds the architectural techniques used in constructing the complex. The chamber is so important that the men who knew about its existence were willing to sacrifice their lives to protect it. While the true extent of what lies beneath the Taj Mahal might never be fully known, many continue to believe in the existence of secret chambers in the Taj Mahal. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. Svalbard Seed Vault Did you know that mankind has its own doomsday vault? Yes. However, it's probably not what you're expecting. Hidden deep in the Arctic is the Svalbard Seed Vault. This massive structure is man's final hope should world crops go extinct. Standing at an elevation of 430 feet, and having a floor area of about 11,000 square feet. The Svalbard Seed Vault is a massive complex officially opened on February 26, 2008. Today, the Svalbard Seed Vault houses over 1,200,800 duplicates of seed samples from almost every country in the world. I was thinking about this the other day. Uh, do, don't y'all think we should have like more of these seed vaults uh, spread throughout the world? Because who's to say we'd be able to make it to the Arctic should something catastrophic happen? Who's to say we can make it there? Wouldn't it be good to have them, like, at various locations? Each one ensuring that a catastrophe won't erase seed species. For researchers, the Svalbard Seed Vault is a crucial insurance policy against the catastrophic loss of seeds in other gene banks caused by accidents, mismanagement, conflict, or natural disasters. This entire complex is maintained at a chilling minus 18 degrees Celsius, or about minus 0.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Along with the low moisture in the area, the seeds in Svalbard are expected to last for a long time, perhaps even longer than humanity itself if the worst case scenario is to happen. With that being said, the global seed vault is not open to visitors. And although there are organized trips with guides, this would only take you near the entrance and never within the complex. Number 18, mm. Queen's Secret Palace Door. Now here's a door that not just anyone could enter, the Queen's Secret Palace Door. Tucked away from the public tours and the grand staterooms, the late Queen's Secret Door is cleverly disguised as a mirror or a cabinet, blending seamlessly into the opulent decor of the palace. To the untrained eye, it appears as nothing more than part of the lavish furnishings that adorn the royal residence. Mm. But in reality, it serves as a discreet entrance and exit for the monarch, allowing movement away from the public gaze. Now there's no question that this alleged secret door isn't the only secret the Buckingham Palace holds. 
Constructed in 1703 and transformed into a royal residence by Queen Victoria in 1837, Buckingham Palace has 775 rooms, including 19 staterooms, 52 royal and guest bedrooms, 188 staff bedrooms, 92 offices, and 78 bathrooms. Jeez. With such a vast space, the strategic placement of hidden doors and secret passages is almost a necessity. And despite knowing there are secret doors in the palace, it'd be a challenge to find these hidden passageways and chambers with how cleverly they're hidden and how guarded the palace is. While the exact location and appearance of the Queen's secret door are not publicly disclosed, it's known that this feature is one of many throughout the palace designed to maintain privacy and security for the royal family. See, that's why you want to be on your best behavior when you go to a place like that. They got that many rooms because you know they got a room dedicated to it that they can just throw you in, lock you in there, and nobody will ever know you were in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, don't play around in places like this. Number 17, the Hall of Records. Among the many secrets of the land of ancient Egypt, the Hall of Records is one of the most elusive. This enigmatic hall houses the last knowledge of the ancient Egyptians from its mythology, history, and all sorts of records of the past and ancient civilizations. And yet, the door of this chamber has never been found. So then, how do we know it exists? The idea of the Hall of Records originated with the works of Edgar Case, an American clairvoyant from the early 20th century. Case, known for his psychic readings, prophesied that a Hall of Records containing the wisdom of Atlantis was hidden beneath the Sphinx and would be rediscovered and opened between 1996 and 1998. According to Case, this hidden library not only documents the lost history of Atlantis, but also the origins and wisdom of the ancient Egyptian civilization. With the significance of the Sphinx across different lore, it's no wonder that many believe that the Hall of Records truly is hidden beneath it. After all, across cultures, the Sphinx is seen as a guardian, and without answering its riddle, one wouldn't be able to get past it. The Great Sphinx overlooking Giza is also shrouded in mystery. It was built by hand by the ancient Egyptians more than 4,500 years ago, and has since been a symbol of mystery and ancient wisdom. It's the most giant monolithic statue in the world, a lion's body with the head of a pharaoh, often associated with King Khafre, who also built the second pyramid at Giza. The idea of the Hall of Records has sparked numerous explorations and excavations around the Sphinx and the Giza Plateau. But some of us don't believe it's an idea. Some of uh, us believe it's straight up fact and that they've found it and they just aren't telling us. That's what I may believe. Oh. Some of these explorations have revealed anomalies and unexplained cavities between the Sphinx and within the surrounding area. But unfortunately, the actual location of the Hall of Records remains elusive. Number 16, Emperor Qin's Secret Tomb. Emperor Qin Shi Huang was the ruler who unified China. He had a long reign from 221 to 210 BCE. Although many would argue that he was a great ruler, many would also testify to his obsession with immortality in the afterlife. And so even in death, Emperor Qin Shi Huang was surrounded by soldiers, not live ones, but terracotta soldiers, each modeled after a real person. Over 70,000 workers were involved to appease the emperor's orders demonstrating his enduring influence over his people, even in the afterlife. Under his orders, the construction of this elaborate tomb began almost as soon as he ascended the throne at the age of 13 and continued relentlessly until his death. The Terracotta Army was discovered by local farmers in Lingtong County in 1974, but the tomb of Emperor Qin itself remains unopened to this day. Modern technology such as ground-penetrating radar and scans indicates that the chamber might still contain the Emperor's remains, surrounded by untold oh. treasures and possibly detailed records of his reign and empire. However, archaeologists are against opening its doors. Again, China's first Emperor was known for his obsession with immortality in the afterlife. To ensure that his tomb would remain protected, it was said to be booby-trapped. What's more, again, that is why. Some doors should be left alone and remain closed and unopened. That's why booby traps is, <laughs> is a good reason. There are high levels of mercury surrounding the mound, supporting historical records of the tomb containing vast rivers and lakes of this toxic substance designed to mirror the emperor's rivers and seas. Archaeologists are also worried that opening the tomb might lead to its destruction. And so today, all we can do is hope that in the future, 
we'll be able to discover technology that would allow us to excavate the Emperor's tomb without damaging it. Number 15. Padmanabhaswami Temple Treasure Nestled in the heart of Tiruvananthapuram, Kerala, is a temple known as the Padmanabhaswami Temple. This lavish and opulent structure was initially dedicated to Lord Vishnu, but aside from being a place of worship, this temple is also considered a modern treasure and one of the most enigmatic structures ever built. For starters, the temple is shrouded in controversy due to legal battles regarding the management of the temple. This led to the Supreme Court of India conducting an audit and opening the temple's vaults, some of which had not been opened for over a century. Vaults A through F revealed a staggering collection worth over $1 billion. The treasure includes sacks of diamonds, bags of gold coins from various eras, silver bars, gold jewelry studded with precious gems, and statues of gold and silver. One notable piece is a pure gold idol of Mahavishnu, valued at around $30 million. It sounds like something out of an Indiana Jones movie, doesn't it? Now there's one vault that's yet to be opened. Despite vaults A through F being opened, vault B was left untouched. Legend says opening this particular vault could bring divine wrath and misfortune. The door of Vault B is said to be sealed not by man, but by the serpents themselves, according to temple lore, and can only be safely opened by a sage who knows a sacred chant that has been lost to time. As for the treasure that was found in the vaults, well, that's another messy matter. There are legal battles over who owns the treasure and how it should be used. The royal family claims that the wealth belongs to the gods, while others believe it should be considered a national treasure to benefit the public. Number 14. Tutankhamun's Tomb In 1922, Howard Carter and his patron Lord Carnarvon rose to fame because they had discovered the tomb of the young pharaoh Tutankhamun. You see, unlike other tombs severely huh? plundered over the centuries, the young pharaoh's tomb was relatively untouched. King Tutankhamun, known colloquially as King Tut, was somewhat obscure until the discovery of his tomb. He became pharaoh at the tender age of nine and died under mysterious circumstances around 18. His tomb, designated KV-62, was filled with over 5,000 items, including a golden burial mask that has become one of the most iconic symbols of ancient Egypt. Although the discovery of his tomb marked the beginning of Egyptomania, a period of renewed interest in ancient Egypt, Many believe that King Tut's tomb shouldn't have been opened in the first place. There are conspiracies claiming that opening King Tut's tomb unleashed a curse, which caused the deaths of Carter and Lord Carnarvon's death shortly after discovering the tomb. This alleged curse is the wrath of the Pharaoh, and it's believed that to this day, the curse of King Tutankhamun continues to persist. Number 13. The Onkolo Nuclear Waste Facility Located on Okiluoto Island in Finland is the Onkalo Nuclear Waste Repository, one of the places you'd least want to visit. The Onkalo facility, meaning cavity and finish, began construction in 2004. It's the world's first permanent repository built to store high-level radioactive waste, such as spent nuclear fuel, which remains hazardous for tens of thousands of years. Basically speaking, this place is a garbage dump, but instead of plastic and other waste, this was constructed to safely store nuclear waste to such a great extent that it won't pose a threat even through ice ages, earthquakes, and any other unprecedented disaster that might occur over the millennia. And I know they probably got a, a great reason for doing this, pro and, and they're probably smarter than me and, and know a lot more about this stuff, but I just have the question of why are we storing this stuff in one place? Isn't that pretty dangerous? Just the thought I had, but they probably got better reasons as to why that I don't know of, but that's just my first thought, like, what? Why? In this facility, nuclear fuel is encapsulated in copper canisters with cast iron inserts to ensure their durability. Now, to ensure that it would be undisturbed, these canisters are buried more than 1,300 feet underground in specially drilled tunnels. The rock itself is geologically stable, minimizing the risk of radiation leakage. Over time, the tunnels will be backfilled and sealed with bentonite clay, which swells when wet, creating an impenetrable barrier. Now perhaps I don't need to explain why this facility should never be opened. You see, despite <laughs> millennia, the radioactive material it holds will continue to be hazardous. The facility is designed to be a final solution, meaning once the waste is deposited, it should not be disturbed for any reason. Number 12. 
Banff Springs Murder Hotel. In 1888, the Canadian Pacific Railway ordered the construction of the Banff Springs Hotel. This accommodation was strategically placed within the Rocky Mountains of Alberta, Canada. With the luxury and beauty it offers, it quickly rose to fame, even among the most renowned people on the planet, including the late monarchs King George VI and his wife, Queen Elizabeth. However, today, it seems that this hotel is more recognized for a horrifying story tied to one of the hotel's rooms, particularly room 873. You see, all of the floors have a room N73. There's room 173, 273, 373, and so on. And yet, 873 is non-existent. The story goes that a family was murdered in this room, and despite numerous cleanings and renovations, the room could not be rid of its bloody handprints. Eventually, it was reportedly sealed off, but guests and staff still report eerie noises and chilling apparitions near where room 873 once was. That's why, for this reason, many believe that this room should forever be off limits. Number 11, Area 51. Now here's something that most of you have probably already heard about, Area 51. From books, movies, and novels to all sorts of creations in pop culture, Area 51 is ironically known for being one of the most secretive locations in the United States. Over the past decades, Area 51 has been popularized by Hollywood as an area where all sorts of otherworldly things occur. But what really is Area 51? Officially, Area 51, also known as Groom Lake or Homey Airport, is a high-security Air Force facility that's part of the Nevada Test and Training Range. The base's primary purpose is undeniably linked to national security. It's a testing ground for experimental aircraft and surveillance technology. However, not everything about this facility is indeed revealed to the public, which is reasonably expected. So then, if there are no aliens in Area 51 or other things that the government is trying to hide, why is it off limits? The simple answer is security. The U.S. government has always been very secretive about Area 51, likely due to the advanced and often classified technology developed and tested there. But hey, there are still conspiracies that claim there's something else going on in this facility. So if you know some crazy theories, feel free to share them in the comments down below. Number 10, Vatican Secret Archives. Nah, you wanna talk about where some secrets lie at? <laughs> This spot. The Vatican's secret archives is one of the most significant records in history, or at least, that's what many believe. Throughout the years, the Vatican's secret archives has been treated as one of the most guarded places in the world. Located within Vatican City, the archives extend over 50 miles of shelving and contain more than 35,000 items, including state papers, papal account books, correspondence, and other historical documents that chronicle the Catholic Church's decisions and activities through the ages. Some of these documents allegedly have the potential to change our understanding of history, from documents about the 14th century trials against the Knights Templar, a handwritten transcript of the trial against Galileo for heresy, and letters from historical figures such as Michelangelo, Henry VIII, and Mary Queen of Scots to omitted versions of the Bible, there are a lot of things that seem intriguing in the archives. However, these documents aren't for the eyes of just anyone. In fact, it wasn't until 1881 that the public was allowed to view the contents of the archives. Pope Leo XIII opened the archives to researchers, albeit with some restrictions. Documents were- Yeah, you gotta give a urine sample, blood sample, go over your firstborn, sign over your house, the deed to your home, um, and everything just to get in there. <laughs> and it still doesn't guarantee you may get in there. Made available only up to the end of the pontificate of Pope Pius IX, who died in 1878. This policy has slowly expanded. As of now, documents up to the pontificate of Pope Pius XI, who died in 1939, are accessible to carefully vetted scholars, historians, and researchers. The process to access the archives is rigorous. Researchers must apply for entry and provide credentials, and their request for specific documents must be approved. This careful vetting process ensures that the delicate, often ancient documents are preserved and that sensitive information is protected. Recently, the Vatican Secret Archives was renamed to the Vatican Apostolic Archives, perhaps to remove the misconception about the archive being a secret. Despite this, the reputation of the archives continues to persist with many believing that it houses records that, if made public, would change many things. 
not only about history, but also our beliefs. Number 9. Metro 2. Did you know that beneath the streets of Moscow, Russia, is a secret underground metro system? This system is said to be called Metro 2, said to be even more profound than the public Moscow Metro, which is already one of the deepest metro systems in the world. Metro 2 has been one of the most talked about locations by conspiracy theorists. After all, it's a mystery if it even exists in the first place. You see, despite the general and unspoken consensus that Metro 2 really does exist, the Russian government or military has never officially acknowledged it. Still, it's been referenced in various sources, including memoirs of former Soviet officials and a reported document from the U.S. Department of Defense. According to these sources, Metro 2 was constructed during the reign of Joseph Stalin and was designed for exclusive use by the Soviet elite in case of a nuclear war or major catastrophe. Metro 2. And that's why they don't want to acknowledge that it exists. They might have still, you know what I mean, plans to use it in the event of something going wrong. They might have upgraded it, enhanced it, done different things to it, so they ain't gonna acknowledge that. No, no way. Reportedly codenamed D6 by the KGB, is believed to connect several critical government and administrative institutions, including the Kremlin, the Federal Security Service headquarters, the government airport at Vinokovo, and an underground town at Remenki, among other locations. The system is said to have everything necessary for a long-term stay underground, from bunker and ventilation systems to command centers. Despite numerous attempts to confirm its existence, Metro 2 remains one of Moscow's best-kept secrets. Urban explorers and curious journalists have tried to uncover its entrances and map out its routes, but most have come up empty-handed, with only a few claiming to have seen parts of this clandestine system. These explorations usually find quickly sealed entrances or meet with flat denials from authorities. So is there really something hidden beneath Russia? Or have explorers been chasing something that never existed in the first place? <laughs> Number 8. Black Dolphin Prison Here's another oh, location in Russia that's perhaps better off left alone. The Black Dolphin Prison. Black Dolphin Prison, officially known as Penal Colony Number 6, houses the worst of the worst criminals. People who will make you doubt whether they're human or if they even deserve to be human. These people have committed crimes that make them more vile than animals running on instincts. Now you're probably wondering why they're called black dolphins. The name of this prison is a nod to the sculpture of a black dolphin set on the prison grounds, which was meant to symbolize how impossible it is to escape from this prison. The prison regimen is strict and designed to minimize risk at every turn. Inmates are housed in cells sealed with three sets of steel doors. For 23 hours a day, they're kept in solitary confinement, only allowed out for one hour of exercise in a large cage. I don't care who you are and what crime you committed. That'll break you right there. 23 hour lockdowns, one hour of outside time. Man, please, bro. <laughs> the toughest of tough have broken to that. When prisoners are moved, they're held in a method known as the swan to limit their movement. The prisoners here are being monitored and watched like hawks. Now, need I say more as to why the doors of this prison should never be left open? Number seven, yeah. Lascaux Caves. On September 12, 1940, Marcel Robidot and his dog Robot inspected a hole left behind by an uprooted tree. Curious, he invited three friends to return to the hole to explore it. It was then that they found the entrance to a 50-foot shaft that led them to the Lascaux Cavern. This cave houses 600 paintings and 1,500 engravings, including images of large animals like deer, oryx, and bison, known to have lived in the region during the Upper Paleolithic period. Eager to be shared with the public, the caverns were open so anyone could experience the beauty of the engravings. However, this led to unexpected consequences. Despite precautions and protocols placed by authorities, the cave's environment was affected by tourists, leading to the deterioration of the cave art. And so in 1983, a replica of the paintings was created and the original cave of Lascaux was sealed once again, a necessary step to preserve the art within it. Number six, Disney Club 33. Is anyone here a fan of Walt Disney? If so, then perhaps you've heard about Club 33 before. Uh -huh. This club was founded by Walt Disney himself in 1967. The club was allegedly made up of people who were the original corporate sponsors of Disneyland. Today, 
Club 33 is one of the most prestigious and expensive experiences you can enjoy at Disney. Membership to Club 33 has a hefty price tag and an extensive waiting list, which can be several years long. Current estimates suggest that initiation fees run upwards of $25,000 to $100,000, with annual dues of about $15,000. But what do members get? And is it worth it? Well, members enjoy exclusive benefits such as access to the club, special fast passes that offer unlimited immediate access to all rides, restricted areas, VIP tours, and tickets to various Disney events. Still not enough. Not enough for 25, 50K, hundreds of thousands of dollars being spent. Not enough. I need more. I, I need more. Do you think this membership is worth it? No. Let me know in the comments mm -hmm. down below. No I need from Mickey and, and, and whom, whomever else to call me personally on the, 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 and they need to wake me up. They need to be my alarm clock when I'm at home. They need to do everything <laughs> known to man for that type of money, bro. Are you serious? No. no. Number five, no. Bohemian Grove. In Monte Rio, California is allegedly a private retreat known as the Bohemian Grove. Unless you're among the most powerful and influential men in the world, you probably shouldn't dream about ever witnessing one of their clandestine meeting places. Nope. Founded in 1872 by a group of journalists from the San Francisco Chronicle, Bohemian Grove began as a small gathering for artists, writers, and musicians seeking an escape from the urban grind. It quickly grew to include some of the most prominent men in American society. Every July, the Grove hosts a two-week off-the-record camp that is said to mix leisure with informal high-level conversations on a wide range of topics. This gathering is famous, or infamous, for its secrecy and exclusivity. Entry is strictly by membership or guest invitation only, and security is tight. Number 4. I bet. Room 39. Room 39 isn't a hotel room, but an organization established in the late 1970s under Kim Jong-il the father of current North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. It was said that this organization was to provide critical funds for the country's leadership, ensuring the loyalty of North Korea's elite through lavish gifts and maintaining the stability of the nation's economy. Even so, the existence of this organization is up for debate. Well, even if it does exist, it will most likely be kept secret to avoid speculation about its existence and the oh, truth. Of course. Number of course. three, the smallpox vaults. Small so, that exi I, I've heard about that before, but I didn't think they were serious that this could possibly exist. Are y'all kidding me? Pox, caused by the variola virus, has a storied past as a devastating disease that has claimed millions of lives over the centuries. Luckily, by 1980, thanks to science, smallpox was officially declared eradicated. However, did you know that there are still several places in the world that have this disease? Yes, you heard that right. You see, the last remaining live samples of the virus were consolidated for security and research purposes into two high-security laboratories. One at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta, USA, and the other at the State Research Center in Virology and Biotechnology, or VECTOR, in Koltsovo, Russia. These two are known as the smallpox vaults. Under no circumstances should these vaults be opened. Number two. The Preston Fabergé Egg Safe. Fabergé Egg. This jeweled egg was created by the jewelry firm House of Fabergé in St. Petersburg, Russia. It was manufactured under the watchful eye of Peter Carl Fabergé himself between 1885 and 1917 after being ordered by Emperor Alexander III himself. The first of these bejeweled eggs was meant to be a gift to the Emperor's wife, Empress Maria Fedorovna. In time, however, the Fabergé egg became a traditional gift from the royal family. As many as 69 of these precious eggs were created, of which only 57 survive today. However, not all of them have been found. Even a single one of these eggs is valuable. Exceptionally so, the most expensive one was sold at an eye-watering price of $25.1 million. These eggs were previously protected and secured in the Preston Fabergé egg safe. It combines state-of-the-art security features with a luxuriousness befitting its contents. Located in a private facility, its security features are closely guarded secrets, but it's known to include biometric access controls, motion sensors, reinforced construction, and climate control systems to maintain optimal conditions for the preservation of the eggs. 
With a security dedicated to guarding these eggs, not a single soul could pass through the doors of the safe unauthorized. And now it's time for today's topic. Scientists discover a million-year-old door and find something shocking inside. No one expected a scientist to stumble upon a hidden chamber while studying the flora and fauna of a remote jungle in Asia. This undisclosed location is allegedly a temple with a heavy stone door inside. According to claims, the door inside is almost a million years old. But what exactly was it hiding? It was said that the hidden chamber contained treasures behind its doors and parchments with ancient writing. But how could that be when the chamber is believed to have been erected a million years ago? Is it possible that there was already an advanced civilization long before what history dictates? Well, until more information about these alleged scrolls is revealed, we can only speculate. Number 1. Russia's Area 51 Did you know that Russia has its own Area 51? Unlike the United States' exclusive area, Russia's secret place is Mezhgorya, a town nestled in the southern Ural Mountains. Just like its counterpart, this town is heavily monitored by Russian military forces. And yet, no one truly knows what's going on within it. Officially, we know that it was founded back in 1979, but its existence has been a matter of public knowledge only since the late 20th century. It's classified as a closed administrative territorial formation, a status typically reserved for locations of significant military or strategic importance in Russia. This town is only called home by military personnel, scientists, and their families. It's also said that all of them are bound by strict confidentiality agreements preventing them from truly disclosing what's happening in Mezhgorya. Now, some believe that this town hosts a massive underground complex. Reports suggest that the Russian government has excavated thousands of tons of rock from the mountain, giving rise to theories about a bunker complex designed to withstand nuclear attacks or a secret facility for unknown military projects. Various theories have surfaced over the years, including that it could serve as a repository for Russian treasures. You know what that makes me think about, bro? They don't care about us. They got them somewhere to go. What about us, though? Hmm? Is there a plan in place or a shelter that we know to report to? Not that I know of. If y'all do, let me know. Because <laughs> I don't know of one. A bunker for political and military leaders for a facility for developing advanced weapons technologies. With only satellite images giving us a glimpse of this place, we're unsure if we'll ever find out just what secrets this town holds. But perhaps it's in our best interest to remain in the dark about this town.